And Eric, what about you? I mean, uh, you you have such a successful, you know, life as a business per a business person. I I know that you're like into you know aviation groups and clothing lines and EF, NFTs and all kinds of stuff and. Mm-hmm. How, you know, from your perspective, because you are really, um, you know, anyone that's into immersive and augmented reality and NFTs and all that kind of stuff, you're really looking at the future. You know, you're already, you know, probably 50 years ahead of, than the, the rest of us. Where, where do you think, how do you think we can all come together? And do you think that there will ever be an opportunity for us to... Um, stop judging people based on the color of their skin and instead um, you know, uh, judge them on the content of their character as Dr. King um, wished for what he dreamed of? Yeah, I I think that um, I think it starts with, you know, as far as young people, the parents really, you know, um, making sure that these kids really understand that um, what's going on right now is like, you know, we grew up in an era where you know, people at at one point after Dr. King was able to to get us to this point, you know, with civil rights, and we still have a long way to go. There was a point where I think black people, especially, kind of like got closer, and then all of a sudden, when I think that the, the ability to go out and kind of have like live a you know live a life that that you know that kind of mirrors where well, white people already had those privileges, I mm. think something happened to us. You know what I mean? Where there was a disconnect, mm. and then the lifestyle, just like right now, is, is, is keeping us at each other's throats in the pursuit of, like, money. So mm-hmm. although I believe in business, but I also believe that, you know, I, I grew up, you know, um, in, in church, man. You know, I, I grew up, you know... Um, loving the Lord and I don't make no moves without without him so mm. and I know sometimes that's not popular to talk about but you know that's my Lord and Savior and you know and I'm not ashamed to, to, to profess um, what I believe in and what I know for me yeah. and for anybody in the world it's whatever they whatever they hold on to and it's positive god is in everything and every and every, so i don't see no separation in in that yeah. you know so i yeah. i never grew up feeling like i'm religious i grew up believing that there is one god and at the end of the day that we all have a, a, a responsibility to help somebody find you know that part of it because it's easy for the mind to take you somewhere else but so that needs to be governed over by something or money power will just continue to proliferate as far as greed is concerned and it'll make somebody want to have that crab in a barrel fed and for black folks we already are at the bottom of it and so when we you know are at each other's throat that's probably one of the most disappointing things to me to see this kind of violence Mm -hmm. going on and to see this type of racism you know against black people, Jewish people right now is at an all time high and mm-hmm. this is very scary like you said. So I feel like we need to be conscious of getting back to positivity again and getting back to saying, Don't y'all know there's children still in this world? They're scared right now. So just think about that for a second. And maybe yeah. that'll make people, you know, you know, a call to action to be like, Man, we I understand everybody's at each other's throats, but your children are harmless, man. What are y'all doing? So yeah. what are we doing as a collective? So I think mm-hmm. we need to start thinking about the, the children as a means of, wow, that's right. What about the kids? They're yeah. not, they shouldn't be a part of none of this, and we shouldn't be exposing them to, to this. So this is terrible what's happening right now. Yeah. So I can start with you 100%.